Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. If you're new, it means so much. If you click the subscribe button, I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday, but as you can tell by the title, today I am sharing with you how to lose belly fat, how to get a flat stomach in four simple steps. So I just posted a video talking about how to lose weight in four simple steps, which I will link it above. And that one was pretty much just speaking more in general about the steps that I've been taking for my weight loss journey. And today's video is gonna be focused and targeted on the stomach, of course. So if you guys like these videos, thumbs it up. It always helps me out. I will also link my fitness playlist in the description box where I post a ton of fitness content all the way from weight loss videos to workouts to what I eat in the days. I have hundreds upon hundreds of videos. So if you wanna check that playlist, I totally recommend it. As of today, I am officially 20 pounds down. I've been on this roller coaster, it feels like, when it comes to my weight loss journey. In the year of 2021, I would get jump onto this weight loss journey and I'd fall off, jump on, fall off, and I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to see. And it wasn't until this year in 2022, within the last couple of months, where I have seen such great results and I've been feeling my best mentally and physically. So I've been really enjoying making these videos to hopefully inspire or motivate you if you feel like you are in a slump or you're currently in a slump like I was not too long ago. My stomach from just last year, not too long ago to now is like a complete change. When I gained weight during the pandemic, a lot of my weight did go to my stomach. It also went honestly all over. It went to my thighs, my arms, my face. That's another thing. And it wasn't until I incorporated these four steps and have been staying consistent is when I've noticed such a difference. Of course, I want to say that belly fat is completely normal and even bloating is normal and due to a variety of factors. But of course, too much belly fat can affect your health in a way that other fat doesn't. Some fat is just under the skin and other fat is deeper inside and around your organs, including your heart, your lungs, your liver. And this is called visceral fat. And this is something that's not always apparent to the eye. Someone could be thin and have large amounts of visceral fat in their body and you really want to be wary of this just because it can lead to a lot of diseases and health issues in the future so I really wanted to focus on myself this past year and really focus on getting the healthiest that I possibly can and with that being said let's jump into the four steps to get a flatter stomach step one focus on intense full body workouts I feel like when you think of getting a flat stomach or toning your stomach and trying to get abs you think of doing a thousand crunches every single day and you just need to do ab workouts and you're good to go. This isn't necessarily the best way to go as you are unable to completely spot reduce. You can't just choose where you want the fat to come off of your body. It is almost impossible to get a flat stomach with targeted exercises if there's a layer of fat on top. So it is much better to focus on total body workout because that is going to recruit many muscle groups at the exact same time. And as a result, this is going to lead to more calories being burnt and overall more body fat being lost quicker. When you are working out at an intensity level that is challenging for you, you do not have to sit there and do workouts for hours upon hours. You can do a good full body workout for 30 to 45 minutes to even 60 minutes if you want, and that is going to do wonders to your body. You wanna do exercises that are going to target more than one muscle, so whether that is doing push-ups to shoulder taps, as well as jumping jacks, 180 jump squats, and even doing touchdown lunges, skier abs, those are all exercises that you can incorporate in your workout that's going to target many parts of your body. And one thing I really learned is that you can't just do one exercise and just expect to lose the fat in your area that you're working. I did gain weight all over my body and it wasn't until I started doing full body workouts where the weight would just shed off when it wanted to shed off. So my thighs started getting slimmer, my stomach started getting flatter, my face was losing the weight underneath. So I definitely find that doing intensity, high intensity, full body workouts give you the results quicker than you would think as opposed to just doing so many crunches and thinking that's all you have to do in order to get a flat stomach. Step number two, get your core strong. You cannot necessarily spot reduce. You could definitely incorporate exercises into your workout that are going to strengthen your core. And of course, if you're trying to get a flatter stomach and lose belly fat, you definitely want to strengthen that core. One of the best, 
most underrated exercises that are great for strengthening your core is doing a plank and incorporating that into your workout. Even if you do it for 20 seconds and then increase it to 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, and trying to hold it as long as possible, of course, doing proper form. The plank is really great because it hits the core muscles hard and it also helps improve your balance, strengthen your back, chest, and even your legs have to do some work. You will definitely have much better form too, and in turn, it will just make you stronger overall. So I really like to incorporate this exercise into my workout to really help challenge my core. You can also incorporate other exercises that are said to really help strengthen that core, but I really just love to do planks, and you could do a bunch of different variations of planks, not just the typical simple plank. Some different variations include a side star plank, low plank arm reach, reverse plank, low side plank, high side plank knee touch, low side plank crunch, extended plank, and even a wide plank. So you could always switch it up as well. Step three, stay away from alcohol. This is definitely something that I have completely cut from my diet or just very much limit. I very rarely drink alcohol because I was really not getting the results I wanted when I was drinking alcohol. Alcohol, of course, when you're the legal age has become something that people tend to do a lot in social settings, whether they go out for a restaurant with friends for a few drinks or they have family over and having a few drinks. It's just something that a lot of people do in social settings and alcohol is full of empty calories and also a lot of alcohol is full of sugar. And this is really going to not help with you flattening your stomach. Alcohol really helps to bloat you and it's going to lead to excess belly fat. You definitely have heard of that term of beer belly and it's not just said for no reason. The sugar in the alcohol and the empty calories really end up getting stored as fat in the body. And in turn, your body tends to accumulate the fat in your stomach area. So that's why I chose really to try and limit that in my diet just because I feel like it's a bunch of empty calories and a bunch of sugar that I do not need and is so unnecessary to add into my diet. Step four is to take control of your eating habits. This is a huge key point and this is a huge thing that has really transformed my body from what it was just last year to what it is now. Your diet is super important. You definitely cannot out-train a bad diet. I know you've heard of that saying where abs are made in the kitchen and I 100% agree with this. Last year, I was definitely on this weight loss journey but I wasn't really sticking on to it. I would definitely got into the habit of working out again but my diet was really lacking and I wasn't getting the results that I wanted even though I was doing really great work workouts and I was training hard my diet was still not on par and I was not losing the weight and my stomach wasn't getting any flatter. And that's because it's important what you eat. You always hear the range of 70% diet and 30% exercise or even 80% diet and 20% exercise. And I totally agree with that because it was not until I really started eating healthier and changing my eating habits when I started really seeing the difference and noticing the results faster and just feeling also better inside of my body. Things that I did and changed when it came to my eating habits is very much limiting that processed food, microwave dinners, sodas and carbonated drinks and chips. Those are all things I decided to put away and no longer buy. All of these things are full of extra sugar and extra sodium that will prevent you from getting rid of that belly pooch. I never realized how much extra added sugar is in food items that I didn't even realize would have that. A lot of the times I was eating a lot of processed foods and that is when I was just not seeing the results even though I was exercising fairly fairly regularly, typically five times a week. But because my diet wasn't on par is when I didn't notice the results and that's what was really discouraging. Of course, eating habits can be the hardest part, but once you do something for at least a month, so four weeks, it starts to become part of your daily routine, a lifestyle, and it becomes a habit. That is where I am currently, where I've been doing this for over two months, and that's when I've been seeing the biggest results in my body and the biggest results when it came to my weight loss. When it comes to diet, 
you really want to think of whole foods and home cooked meals, fruits and vegetables and lean protein and even healthy fats. This is going to transform your body and make you shed the pounds and get a flatter stomach. I really pretty much cook all the time at home. I don't eat out and I also don't like to have processed like ready food because that, like I said, is just full of extra stuff that is just so unnecessary and it's just so much easier to make your meals at home and even meal prep if you want so that it cuts the time so you don't have to cook every single day during the week. Another great thing that I started doing is just drinking plenty of water and making sure it is of course still water and not carbonated water because any sort of carbonated drinks is definitely going to cause bloating which is going to make your stomach not look as flat. Drinking plenty of water is also really important because it will prevent that extra bloat and really help boost your metabolism. Always make sure to be drinking all the way from morning to night and keeping up with my hydration. I'm also going to share with you some other drinks that you can incorporate in your diet if you find that you are bloating and that's really great with helping bloating. But before I get into that, I just want to talk about bloating in general. So personally for myself, I always felt like I was bloated, especially before my weight loss. I do have a lot of stomach issues and digestion issues. So I really needed to learn what was working for my body and what wasn't and what helps my bloating. And I have came so far from before. I feeling bloated all the time. It's just so uncomfortable. It just makes you not feel good in your body. Of course, I do want to stress that bloating is completely normal and you're not going to feel flat a hundred percent 24 7 of your day bloating can be due to so many things all the way from just eating too quickly or having poor eating habits or maybe you didn't go to the washroom for a few days if you know what I mean another thing could just be that you are eating foods full high of lactose and gassy foods and this could be things like onions garlic Brussels sprouts and broccoli these are all gassy foods but they're all part of my diet and something and so healthy for you so you need to realize that it is completely normal for you to blow even people that you see that have these ripped stomachs and toned stomach they have six packs they even blow everyone bloats it's a hundred percent normal but it's also not good to feel like you're bloated 24 7 of the day and that's how I fe felt honestly for majority of my day before this weight loss and it wasn't until I started eating healthier and eating more whole foods but also just seeing what works for me and what doesn't so now I'm going to share with you other drinks that you can incorporate that's going to help with bloating something that's really great to add is green tea you want to make sure that that it is unsweetened. Green tea is really great at boosting your metabolism and it also acts like a prebiotic. Another thing is incorporating water with lemon and cucumber. So adding things into your water, this just kind of switches up the flavor. It may allow you so that you're drinking more water, but this also just stimulates your metabolism. Another drink is watermelon smoothies, or you can honestly just have watermelon, but watermelon is a great fruit for bloating because it's high in water and potassium content. And the last one is peppermint tea. This is really also great at helping with bloating. It helps with digestion. And also if you have cramps, even menstrual cramps, these are all drinks that are going to be great if you do struggle with bloating to incorporate into your routine. But overall, I do want to stress once again, bloating is completely normal. In the mornings, you're going to feel your flattest, of course, compared to nighttime. And sometimes, you know, it's real life. Life gets busy. Maybe you can't have your complete diet or maybe you couldn't have all the water you wanted to drink that day because life is just busy and you can't stress about it. However, you want to just try and do the best you can. And by doing all these steps and incorporating them, you're going to feel so much better and you're going to notice such a big difference in your overall stomach and in your body. So if you guys enjoyed this, thumbs it up. I will do more videos like this. It would mean so much if you checked out my fitness playlist, which will be linked down below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday. And with that being said, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.